Seems like a reoccurring theme every week for us now with so many COVID scratches, but Marshawn Lattimore and Cam Jordan have to play big tonight. Miles Gaskin now in the backfield. Tugavaloa steps up after serving and throws and completes. There's Jalen Waddle back in the lineup after missing last week's game out on the COVID-19 reserve list. Third yeah. down. And you see C.J. Gardner-Johnson making the play out in the flat. When you're talking about this secondary, you're talking about one of the best secondaries in the NFL, minus Malcolm Jenkins here tonight. But C.J. Gardner-Johnson, I can tell you this, we'll be calling his name a lot tonight. One of the fastest, most physical, fearless nickel corners in the entire league. On third and two, Tugabaloa for Waddle. He's got the first down. And the flag comes in on Marshawn Lattimore. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, number 23, late hit out of bounds. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the result of the play. Automatic first down. Second and nine. Two and a throw. Coming across the middle, wanted Waddle. And the flag comes in. 22. DPI 22. Want to take a guess at that one, guys? <laughs> I'm going to go. Pass interference, defense, number 22. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Gardner Johnson was signaled that was an uncatchable football, therefore shouldn't be pass interference. You're going to see Gardner Johnson just squatting on the route. You see him hooking with his upfield arm. I'm looking forward to this matchup, though, Lewis. Yeah. Jalen Waddle and, and Gardner Johnson. Look, this guy can play, C.J. Gardner Johnson. He is, look, every game that you watch at the New Orleans Saints, he shows up in the run game, in the pass game, man zone. He can do it all. Last week, Saints cornerback C.J. Gardner Johnson. He's involved in everything. Got the pick on Tom Brady late in the fourth. And following the 9-0 win over the Bucs, Gardner Johnson took to Twitter to taunt his pal. Said, hey, Microsoft Surface, can y'all send me a new Surface? I need to give it to a friend who broke his. Yes, that was great. <laughs> Perfect tweet. The look on his face that he gave Tom. And he added, Woo. thank you and Merry Christmas. And Merry what a Christmas lover. to all. He's in the holiday spirit. Better to give than receive. Here's Waddle, brought down for a loss. And it's Gardner Johnson on the spot loss of two. It's not just his great play at nickel, but it, it, you feel his intensity, his leadership. He's always chirping. He's one of the smartest nickels in the game, and I think it's really telling that Dennis Allen doesn't feel like he's got to put Marshawn Lattimore on Jalen Waddle. He is just fine with Gardner Johnson in the slot all night. Until Miami starts pushing this ball down the field a little, watch these New Orleans Saints DBs. They're all sitting on the short game, very aggressive at the line of scrimmage. Two is going to have to pop one over the top in order to get them to back off. Third and seven. Tua loads and fires, and it's Waddle. Jalen Waddle already his fourth catch of the night. That's good for 18. Well, this time they had Bradley Roby. Here's Waddle in the slot, and Bradley Roby matched up, and he gets... This is a great design by Godsey because he gets Waddle off of Seagate Gardner-Johnson, and Tua sees it immediately and gets a first down. I like the approach they're taking with Jalen Waddle. You've seen him line up in numerous different positions in the backfield, number three in the trips, closest to the offensive tackle. They're going to have to be creative with him because he's easily their most dynamic playmaker. It's Waddle approaching midfield. Fifth catch of the night. Pick up a 10. There's a flag down. Holding offense. Number 74, 10-yard penalty, replay, third down. Right here, he's going to get Marcus Davenport. As Marcus is about to turn the corner on him as Tua is trying to get this ball to Jalen Waddle out of the backfield in a little drafts in the top four rounds, and they haven't played up to expectation yet. Second and 11, it's Waddle. Forward progress will have him about a yard shy of the marker. Just one timeout left. Tonga Bailoa throwing on the money for Waddle. Seventh catch of the night, and that is significant. With that catch, he's now second on the all-time list 
for most receptions in a single season by a rookie behind only Anquan Bolden. That's a really nice throw for Beautiful. Tua. To the outside, on time, accurate, and allows Waddle to turn upfield and get it some extra yardage. That's the kind of throw you want to see consistently from Tua. You see just how explosive he is. In the clock status after every review. Talking about Loa taking a shot for Waddle over his shoulder. And can't bring it in. Marshawn Lattimore made sure that. Of two his 14 completions, seven times he went to Jalen Waddle, and that is significant. Most receptions by a rookie in a single season. Waddle is on pace to eclipse the great Anquan Bolden. Is 101 from 2003. And before everybody says, hey, got the extra regular season game, keep in mind Waddle missed last week. Gain of four. Let's look at Waddle's night tonight. I think what you gotta like is the fact that they are utilizing him at all different types of positions. You're seeing him here just in this highlight. He runs him from the number three position in the trips formation, the number two position in the trips formation. He's running a bunch of different routes. He's run go routes, he's run option routes, he's run sale routes. He's a do-it-all, everything type of weapon for him. Only got five quarters out of Will Fuller. That did not work out. Third down and nine. Loading up and firing across the middle, and it's intercepted. It's Marshawn Lattimore. This ball, Lewis, needs to go to the over route. This is a force from Tua Tunga Vailoa. The ball is coming over. Watch the middle of the field. There's a wide open space there. The ball should go right here, and he forces it down the field for the interception. And yeah, you see the ball hawking capability of Marshawn Lattimore just playing high on it, getting good depth. You get those overthrows, defensive backs know, tips and over. Eight and a half to go in the third. Little flea flicker. Back to Tunga Bailoa. Coming across is Jalen Waddle. His eighth catch, eighth catch of the night. Gain of 24 for Waddle. I mean, this watch, you're gonna see Jalen Waddle come off the right side of your screen. He just kind of jogs off the line of scrimmage and then just takes off across the field. Marshawn Lattimore, he knows that he's beat trying to chase him outside in. Why do you guys always follow for when they jog off the line of scrimmage? You know what's coming. <laughs> Why do you guys always fall for that? Yeah, you know what? I mean, very good down here. Second and goal. A little misdirection. Get it to Jalen Waddle into the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. They really got the Saints with the flow going to the right. Watch all these defenders going this way, and they're just going to get Waddle going the opposite direction. And with so many players, backup players in there for the Saints, almost impossible to stay with the shifty Jalen Waddle. Again, give credit to George Godsey, offensive coordinator, play caller for the Miami Dolphins. He has been creative with number 17 time and time again. That's got to be like 17-3 is eight. Miami. Waddle to a tug of Iloa. Teammates in Alabama and Miami. Everybody, not the worm, but the Waddle. During that seven game losing streak, all of that adversity, you find out who's on board and who isn't. Yeah. And that goes for players, coaches, staff, fans, everybody. And he said, you find out real quick. And he learned some things. He learned some things about himself, about his team. And now they have two of the biggest games of maybe his career.